Stories from Parliament, Magna Carta, February 12th, 15th, and all is not well. Across the country, from north to south, the voices of angry bands can be heard. The cause of the anger, one man. King John. He demands even higher taxes to pay for the futile wars in France. And if we do not pay up, he takes what he wants. We have to find a way to stop him raising taxes whenever he chooses. And taking our lands. Stealing our lands. He promised all this would stop. He always promises. His promises mean nothing. We must do something to make him keep his word. We are the Baron Lords of England, yet he shows us no respect. He can arrest us and hold us prisoner without fair hearing. Our wedded sisters and brothers can be forced into a marriage just because the king orders it. Our rights and freedom should be protected by the law. King John believes he is above the rule of law. Then we must have new rules, which a king must obey. It's not just the barons who believe it's time to act. He may be above the laws of men, but nobody is above the laws of God. Pre silence for Stephen Lang, Stephen Langton, Doug Bishop of Canterbury. My lords, you are gathered here today from all corners of England. Tell him, what are your concerns? Fitz Walter, Lord of Dunmail Castle. You can speak first. My lord, when I can address his tactations, yet again, he offends people. When he, really, when he sees his land that does not belong to him, he offends barons. And when he sees his wealth of the church, he offends God. <laughs> <laughs> Richard de Clare, Earl of Hartford. You wish to speak? My Lord Fitzwater. My Lord Fitzwater is right, but what can we do? The king cannot be reasoned with, he is too powerful. Then we must find a way to limit his powers. How will we do that, declare? How will we do that? Act, there are no rules which a king has to obey. Fitzwater. We will make new rules. He won't listen to us, he refuses to recognise our rights, we have no voice. Then we must. We must send a clear message. He must agree to limit, to limit his power. And if he doesn't agree, then, then together we will raise a, a great. To, then, then together we will raise a great army, and we will take London and leave him no choice. But even when he knows that the barons are taking action, King John continues to seize to raise taxes and seize lands which do not belong to him. The rebels advance towards London. Really? Let them advance where they like. I have nothing to fear from Robert Fitzwater and his rabble. So I gather support your majesty. The closer they get to London, the stronger they become. I told you, I have nothing to fear. The people of London will stand by their king. I'm not so sure, your majesty. Fitzwater calls his troops at home. I don't care. I don't care what side the people are on. I will not submit. No king of England will ever be removed by my king. Um, messenger from London, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, Fitzwater is in London. And? The people cheer him. They cheer a rebel traitor who dares to stand against his king? Yes, Your Majesty. Perhaps, Your Majesty, it is time to talk to the rebels. Never. I am the King of England. I do not talk to traitors. But King John will talk. He has no choice. And on the 15th of June, 1215, at Runnermaid, near Woodsaw, the two sides meet. The barons present the king with a document. 63 rules have been written down on parchment. This will become one of the most important and famous documents in history. People will call it the Great Charter of Magna Carta. You will no longer force widows to marry against their will. Agreed. You will not raise taxes without the agreement of the barons. Agreed. No free man can be imprisoned without being charged. Agreed. Every man has a 
has a right right to a fair trial. Agreed. And twenty-five pounds will watch you carefully to make sure that you obey these rules. Agreed. King John places his royal seal on the document so that the whole world will know that he has agreed to obey these new rules. Of course, this document doesn't put an end to to the to the quarrels between kings and barons. Some some of the rules are quickly changed and many are broken and ignored. But on the fifteenth of June, to our fifteenth, something important has happened. Magna Carta has shown for the first time that it is possible to lay down rules which even kings obey. Some of those rules are quite a mistake.